massive game this Sunday as we welcome Liverpool to Old Trafford. Adam, is it still the biggest game of the season? Liverpool is the fixture that I look forward to the most every season, without a doubt. Yeah, if we get them in the Cops, I'm up for it. It's that game where I'm so scared that we might lose it, but at the same time, yeah. when we win them, I'm just so happy at the same time. But obviously, I think Manchester City are our biggest rivals for any trophies that we're after. Not that we're after any this season. Um, <laughs> but obviously, Liverpool are our biggest rivals yeah. historically. You're right, Adam. We don't want any trophies. We, we weren't after them in the first place. We don't want them. Uh, JB, do you agree with that? I do, I do indeed. It's like, there's obviously like quite a natural antipathy between Mancunis and Scousers, which goes back generations, back to the whole Manchester Ship Canal. But I won't bore you with that. Um, they are just, it's, it is a massive fixture, like Adam says. You really, really look forward to it because if we win, it's fantastic. If we lose, it's bragging rights. And particularly with social media now, we've got to put up with all the absolute garbage on Twitter, haven't we? <laughs> so it's, it doesn't bear thinking about now. No. Uh, well, don't worry, we're going to win. It's fine. Of course we are. Moving on, Robin Van Persie has been creating a lot of headlines recently. Lots of talk about whether or not his heart is in Old Trafford anymore. And also about whether or not we were actually a better team when he came off against West Brom after about 70 minutes. The counter-argument is obviously that 70 minutes were gone, it was 2-0, and by this stage everybody knew the result was coming, so all the players relaxed and enjoyed it a bit more. Uh, Adam, where do you stand on all this? I don't think it's Robin Van Persie as a player. I just think he's not performing to a standard and we're not getting the best out of him as we can. I do think, though, on Saturday, um, after he had that pep talk on the flight with Moyes, he did come out a little bit more up for it, raring to go. Um, and then he got that harsh booking and he seemed to like he just wanted to get sent off. Fair enough, he got the ball on the, on the second challenge um, when he got a talking to. But it's a challenge like if a striker goes in for that and you're clattering someone, it's the manner you go in and referees are going to are gonna look to book you for it. He could have got sent off. He was right to get pulled off. Waub scored a goal. <laughs> So prove Moyes' decision right. But Robin Van Persie, we really need to start getting the best out of him. And he needs to play with a smile on his face. He looked a bit more last season. I thought, I thought... He's not going to smile if David Moyes keeps pulling it off, Adam. Uh, <laughs> JB, <laughs> do you think Robin Van Persie's head is in the right place approaching this Liverpool match? Um, it's not the ideal place. I think it's, it looked at a point where he looked like he might be turning a corner at the weekend. His, his, his shoulders were quite slumped. I mean, you know, it went in for like challenges. It, at least it shows like he cares. He's, he's not moping around as much. He's actually doing a lot more movement off the ball and putting challenges in. Um, it's like this game might come a bit too soon for, uh, for Robin's resurgence, but he's on the up. Um, to answer your question, I played, I played that guy. I played Welbeck. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you'd leave Van Persie out of the team? I'd I would. play Welbeck too. Yep. Lots of talk as well uh, regarding Van Persie that if Moyes were to sell him in the summer, it would be a great statement of intent of him saying, this is my squad, I'm the man who's in charge, and I'm not scared of anybody. Um, but equally... He sort of made Wayne Rooney almost as big as the club with his huge contract and everything. Do you not think there's a danger of people looking at him and going, well, he couldn't keep two good players happy? No. Um, I think, obviously, I think we are a better team with Robin Van Persie. Not, don't get me wrong. But if he was to leave in the summer, I wouldn't be that hurt, that bothered. He came to win the league last season. He'd done it for us. And I feel like I've expected a little bit more from him and some of our other experienced players this, this year. Um, I'll keep saying it and I'll carry on saying it until I'm blue in the face. But, you know, if Robin Van Persie wants to leave, so be it. Let him go. We'll move on. We'll get better for it. But if we need to keep him. If we can keep him here and keep him happy, Manchester United will be a better team. He's one of the world's well, best the strikers. Thing, the thing is to keep our players happy. Uh, JB, do you think we can keep him happy? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't believe that Rooney and RVP can play together. I think uh, Rooney's game has changed. He doesn't have the same uh, dribbling ability or speed that he used to when he, when he was that attacking Zephyr as an 18-year-old. Um, and I think he's, he's, he's more of like a, a very nice all-round striker nowadays. And I think he does want to be that goal scorer. So put him up front, sell that, that person. He's not interested. Uh, stick Shinji Swagger in a hole and then we'll have a bit of a team there. OK. Do you think um, that David Moyes was right to stick all his eggs in the Rooney basket? Absolutely. At the expense of Van Persie. I no, I think I think there was a massive gamble that we we nearly got bitten in the arse about. You know, he nearly did one to Chelsea, and we couldn't have done really that much about it to stop him. Um, you know, he got Stratford on it. He earned him a bit of money. Rooney loved it. Um, and I think he needs to come out and just he just needs to have a better relationship with certain players. I think it's unfair to be blaming this on Wayne on the treatment of Wayne Rooney. Robin Van Persie, when he came to the club, I'm sure he was made near about the top top paid player at the club. There or thereabouts. Yeah, right. yeah. Why should he? Why should he have? Why should he have a chip on his shoulder about it? Get 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 working and get playing for the club. That's if fine. not, do one. Yeah. 
So, but it's more, I think it's not necessarily, I'm not saying it's Rooney's fault that Van Persie is unhappy, more that David Moyes seems to have, where last year Fergie put his efforts into Van Persie at the expense of Rooney. Well, we've got... It's sort of the opposite this season. So last year we knew Rooney was unhappy and this year it's Van Persie. Is, is it possible to make them both happy at the same no, time? Because we've got situation square pegs round holes. Fergie, the, common, you know, the belief is that Fergie brought in Kagawa and RVP to replace Rooney, who was pretty you know, upset about. Yeah. He wanted to ship him out to you know, PSG or whoever it was. And uh, that was going to be our new front too, Kagawa and, and RVP. That's, that's what a lot of people believe, and I think it makes sense. OK. Right, so let's move on. JB, you say you wouldn't play RVP against Liverpool, so who would you play? Uh, let's say De Gea and Sticks, obviously. Um, Raphael, I think the, uh, the combination of Smalling and Phil Jones um, was brilliant at the weekend. Great to still feel oh, Phil Jones in his proper position. Phil Jones. And, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, Paddy Evera, uh, left back. Um, on the wings, I'd, I'd say uh, Mata and the LSI. I think we're going to leave Carrick to spray the ball about and Fellaini to rough them up a bit. So um, I think they're going to have a really strong spine. I think they're going to put a lot of players. They might play the diamond at the weekend, Liverpool. Um, and then up top, they'll have Rooney behind uh, that, that guy, DW Welbeck. OK. Uh, Adam, do you agree? Cool. What would you do different? Um, I agree that I'd start Welbs, but I'd also start RVP. i tell you how. I'd go with DDG and goal, obviously. Raphael, who I thought was superb against West Bromwich Albion. I think when we play this inverted wingers kind of formation, uh, the likes of Raphael and our left back, who unfortunately has been every almost every game this season, um, will <laughs> will, will come into it. I think we need a new left back. Yeah, I think we need a new left back. But obviously, Ever is a legend anyway. Then I go with uh, Jones and Smalling again at centre back. They were fantastic there against West Brom. Yes, they'll have a different test, but. Putting Vidic there against pace, we've seen his, you know, his knees are going to have a b- bit of a wobble, and um, so I play the two young ones, Carrick and Fellaini. It's important we get that part, work on that partnership, and I'd play them again, especially if we're going to do it against Olympiacos. I'd play them again, get them playing together. Fellaini played well against West Brom. To pull him out of the team now would just be a joke. He's got confidence. Let's play him. Then I'd go Welbs instead of Yanazai at wide, uh, with Mata on the other one, Rooney just behind Van Persie. Uh, quick question for everyone: If Robin Van Persie was to leave, would you play yeah. Mata or Kagawa in the hole? Mata, every time. Kagawa, you're mental. I play Mata too. Everyone just seems I love, so automatically. I really like Kagawa, Kagawa, but his second touch is always to control the ball. If you watch, watch him. Every time he touches the ball, it jumps a foot in the air. Happens every time. I, I love him, but that happens. <laughs> watch it. Yeah. Uh, so moving forward, let's talk about Liverpool. They're having a great season, obviously. Who do we worry about? All of them? The usual suspects, isn't it? Yeah. So, How do we stop them? Oh, my days. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Do you do, a, do you do a Phil Jones marking job on Luis Suarez and then have another centre-half and Phil Jones in defensive mid running around after Luis Suarez? I don't know. Just let um, everyone get at Suarez. Yeah. Mac, Mac what, what would your plan be to stop Suarez? Just stick one on him and keep doing it till he till he flips and bites someone. Nah, um, he's a fantastic on it, player, isn't he? I mean... In a team such as Liverpool, where they've got so much movement, he's always going to manage to find space somehow. Um, like with Ronaldo, obviously I'm not comparing Suarez to Ronaldo, but Ronaldo, you can put two players on him, but eventually he's going to find space. Same with Suarez, he'll find space, he's tricky, um, he can beat players. Obviously, they've got a fantastic strike force. I think on the on their day, ours could be better though. Um, and at home, yeah. Jones and Smalling can, can play as well as they did against West Brom and they can keep a clean sheet. I, well, think the key, I don't see us keeping a clean sheet though. We to, like, I think we've got to press really well in midfield and like cut yeah. on the line of Gerard, Henderson and Coutinho. Um, yeah, Henderson it's like a Premier League footballer all of a sudden. So now they've got like three creators in midfield. Bad knees though. Is the weak spot their defence? Oh, yes. Yeah. Or, so how do we expose that? What do we do? How do we get in there? Just movement, quick movement. I think you've seen with like Torre loves to dive in. Skirtle loves to dive in. Aga's probably their best centre-back and I think his best with his feet. So when he's defending, he's not, yeah. not necessarily the best. That's it. I think they're they're going to suffer to our crosses. I think the likes of, if we can get Mata, yeah. in, uh, sorry, if we can get Walbeck running into some space, um, you know, Kagawa, Yanazai, whoever, just moving in and around them, they will dive in and they will look to That's fast. why I put Walbeck like, up front. Full space okay. open. Right, let's move on. Guys, what do we think the score will be, Adam? This is where you give us your prediction. Dramatic pause. Three two Manchester United. Ooh. Three two. Boom. High scoring game. JB. Two one MUFC. Yeah, you used to be a model. Oh, is that, what was that know? LFC? Uh, I am going for. I reckon it'll be a tight, cagey one nil. 
Yeah, there'll be a 93rd minute winner from Fellaini. He's going to come good. Uh, you heard it here first. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, everybody at home, please comment. Let us know if you think this is the biggest game of the season, if you agree with the RVP stuff and who you would play against Liverpool. Uh, if you haven't already, get on youtube.com forward slash full time devils and subscribe. It will change your life. Comment on the video. Let us know what you think. Share it with your mates. Make that conversation bigger. And give us a little like. It makes us feel better. Jamie Carragher, I honestly can't understand a word you're saying. And you're a football pundit. Kevin Keegan is not from Liverpool, but you adopted him as one of your own. I would love it if we beat them. And he turned out to be a knob as well.